is going on guys jesse504 here bringing you my lbt week five match uh, the reason why week four didn't come out is because unfortunately we did take a forfeit win uh so obviously that's great for our record we are now four and oh but i always love to play my games so it's unfortunate but it's whatever uh this week we've got a very tough matchup uh if you just look at uh, on paper we, you see the matchup uh, right there. You see we've got our same team. Uh, opponents rocking out with Ambipomp, Scolipede, Thundee T, Victini, Eveltal, Como, O, Milotic, Mamoswine, Serena, Magirna, and Dublade. So definitely just plenty of threats. Um, the big three that I'm worried about are Eveltal, Victini, and Magirna. Um, obviously, I think that's fairly self-explanatory as to why I'm afraid of them. But uh, obviously... Uh, Magirna is just a threat because my ground type is weak to fairy and my fire type is neutral to fairy. So, yeah, uh, it's a very tough one uh, just to try to crack through because floor cannon spam is actually fairly solid into me. My main resist is Zacian, but this thing can like shift gear up and potentially cause issues. Uh, Uveltal is just a massive threat uh, for a Mewtwo win con which is something that I might want to do. And then Victini can actually Scarf this week, I think, really well, and Oko my Zacian. Although we can Oko it back with Crunch, so that's something fun to uh, do. But, yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into my sets. Starting out with this Zacian Crowned, you see that we have our Rusted Sword, as always, Intrepid Sword for the ability, Behemoth Blade Player of Sub Crunch. Um... Getting a sub up on something more passive seems really helpful, and once we can do that, we are 252 adamant to Oko Victini with Crunch. Um, with, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be blowing through pretty much everything on the team. So, yeah, the one thing that this thing doesn't hit amazingly well is Magirna, but outside of that, it seems really nice. We can potentially sub up on Eveltal trying to go for a Sucker Punch, uh, but, like, there's just plenty of stuff that we can try to do, but yeah up next we've got mewtwo which is specs this week with psychic ice beam shadow ball and t-bolt i think i meant to put flamethrower on this set over um over t-bolt just so that i can really just dent down that magirna um speed for ambipom which is the fastest thing and then we just got to go in and take names with this mewtwo uh kick ass take names that's what this mewtwo is gonna do up next, we've got Torrenty, pretty much the same set again. Uh, U-turn, Hurricane, Knockoff, and Defog. Uh, wanted to try to fit Heat Wave on here for Magirna, but couldn't quite do it. Um, Hurricane is nice here. Defog, there's some solid hazards just, uh, just thrown around uh, from Scolipede, so potentially defogging those away seems really nice. And then just always Knockoff is a very consistent option as well. But yeah. Up next, we've got Incineroar, which is Boots with Intimidate uh, Spadef this week. Knockoff, Parting Shot, Taunt, Flare Blitz. Um, taunting theme uh, thing seems really nice on like on what would switch into Infernit or not Infernit Incineroar. Um, parting Shot for momentum, obviously. Knock is very spammable, taking away items, especially like this thing. I imagine is going to be like my Premier Victini switch in uh, if that thing decides to come physical into me we've got intimidate if it comes special into me we've got a uh, spadef so yeah this is my plan for victini and it can also just do other things fairly well though up next we've got motom with uh lefties levitate bolt switch t wave leaf storm protect uh protect is to just scout things out uh t wave into this team i think is really strong uh once thunderous goes down uh because once thunderous goes down we can like start spamming bolt switches T-Wave things, Leaf Storm things, uh, obviously Mamoswine could be a slight issue, but we are max speed to outspeed those things, uh, like Mamoswine, like Como, -O. and T-Wave on Como, -O, if that thing's a sweeper, T-Wave on really everything that uh, can take it is really solid, because even like the slow things like Magirna, uh, taking a T-Wave is not optimal for them, and yeah. Lastly, we have our Garchomp, which is Lefty's rough skin. Edgequake is fantastic into this team. So we've got Edgequake with rocks and um, 
toxic. That's what it's supposed to be. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this is my team, and I'll see you guys in the battle. Alrighty, opponent just sent us the challenge. Let's get right into it. And the team that we see is fairly as expected. We've got the Mamoswine, Coma O, Thundee T, Milotic, uh, Eveltal, and Victini. Uh, what do I want to lead into this? Well, that's a question of what's leading versus me. And I think Coma O is a solid lead or Mamoswine. Uh, I don't have like a perfect lead into both. But leading Torn and just U-turning seems fine, although Scarf Mamo is something that I've got to be aware of. But it's actually just a Milotic lead, which I'm honestly fine with, even if I soak up a Toxic. It's just a Protect. But we actually don't see a Flame Warp pop, which is interesting with Protect, although it still makes sense. I'm just going to knock off trying to get rid of some item here. I'm fine getting Toxic, like I said earlier. But just you turning out seems really nice. I was actually like expecting like a flame orb marvel skill set on this to try to do something versus Zacian. But I actually think Scarf Mammo and or Victini is probably the counterplay. And we just see a Como coming. Take uh get rid of the Iron Ball, which is interesting. Um And now, that's just not quite doing enough, but I'll still click Hurricane here. Like, what's the downside? I get toxic. Thundee T comes out, that's fine. Takes a chunk. We get the Confuse, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll knock this thing as well, or something else, but... Just knocking here again. Actually, I'll go Garchomp. This thing doesn't really have a way to touch Garchomp, and I would rather not risk a Scarf. Uh, my Lottic comes out. I'll just get my Rocks up. This thing could potentially be packing like an Ice Beam or something. But just getting my Rocks up and not activating this thing's Marble Scale. It is Ice Beam, and we get Frozen. I'll just EQ. It's like I'm just going to sack off Chomp at this point. There's like really... It did its job. It's called me. That's fine. Um, how does my Lotic take a Spec Psychic from you two? I presume fairly well, and yeah, that is a uh, fairly well taken. Uh, how about Rotom? I'll just Volt Switch out, I guess. Uh, probably going for an ice move, I ha or ice beam, not just ice move, but it just goes for protect, that's fine. I'm going to thunder wave here. Uh, Thundy T comes in, which is something that, yeah, I can do. Um, I kind of am down my best switch into this thing, so I'll just go out into my spadef incineroar. Um... And that can click knock really well into this team. Uh, it invites in my Lotic, obviously, but just clicking knock on anything here seems solid. Yep. It actually hits a Focus Blast. Can't say that's ever happened before, but... Um... Yeah. I will just go for, like, at this point, like, what do you, what do you want me to do? I'm just sacking here at this point. I will knock. Uh, is that Specs damage, actually? Because if it is, then there's just like a 30% chance that they miss, and we can go from there. But, Thundee T, that looked to be Specs damage, yeah. So there's like a good chance that they just miss, like an actual like solid chance that they just miss. They go Milo, and they were leftovers, that's fine. So... I'm just going to Parting Shot. If they want to like Protect or something, that's fine. They don't have like Lefties, so it doesn't really do much anymore. But that's like one player of switching down the drain. Um, hmm. I'll go Rotom here. I think that they would Scald me and try to kill potentially. 
So just going Rotom and then clicking Leaf Storm seems like a solid play here. They go Como though, so I'll just um, hmm. I'll protect. I'm not sure what they would want to do. They might just set rocks here. They go for Aerial Ace, which is interesting, but I don't think it does a chunk to me. Because um, that is a neutral hit. Okay, yeah, I'll just fire off a Thunder Wave then. Paralyzing. The Aerial Ace doesn't do uh, really anything to me, so I'll just Volt Switch out now. Uh, Thundy comes in here, actually, probably. I would... Okay, well, it doesn't. So I'll just go into my turn. And we do get a full para, which is nice. I'll fire off a Hurricane now. Nothing really wants to come in and then take a Hurricane, other than, like, even, like, the Thundy, which takes rocks. Uh, but no, we just get the Como, which is pretty nice. Uh, obvious, uh, Scarf, Mamo, and or Victini, uh, we still need to deal with. But, like, at this point, it's probably just gonna have to be predicting, uh, moves. But, I'm just gonna U-turn here, and if Victini's Scarf, we get to find that out right now. And if it's not then we can just kill it. And that just pretty much guarantees that Mamo is in fact Scarfed. But Scarf Mamo runs the risk of, I believe, being outsped. It is not Scarf Victini, which is pretty big information. Um, looks to be special. But I'll go Zacian and just click Crunch. Or I can click Sub, actually. Uh, if I click Sub, how much do I do into a Mammal Swan? Oh, I Oko. Okay. I'll click sub here, and if they switch to preserve this Victini, um, then I think we might just win, which is honestly crazy. If we hit all our moves, I believe we do just kill, like, every single time. They just V-create. Uh, that's fine. I will now go for, um, hmm. Yeah, let's go for a Behemoth Blade. And we take out the Victini. They did not sack it, or they did not switch, try to preserve it, which is huge. Now, if they go hard Mammo, uh, that's just like a pretty obvious indication of Scarf. And if they don't go hard mammal, then it means that they're like really just considering how they don't lose. Um, yeah, so it's Specs Thundy. They just go Eveltal. Um, um, which potentially just doesn't even break my subs. It's actually Heat Wave, which is also interesting because it's Scarfed into Heat Wave now. So, yeah, I'm going to have to switch out now, but um, that pretty much confirms that it is not a Scarf Mammo. Had I just attacked it, I think I won, which is slightly unfortunate. Um, but... Specs Mewtwo uh, just kills with Ice Beam. And... Yeah, I mean... That happens, and then I go. They just go Milo. Uh, Ice Beam just does so much. Holy shit! That's actually crazy. They just protect again for some reason. They're like stalling my PP. Uh, it really isn't doing anything when their leftovers aren't there. But yeah. So they go Evolt all here now, or they sack Thundy, and they can do either. Uh, I'm fine with either. Um, obviously, um, I'm iffy on how I kill this Evolt all at this point, but just going Rotom on... They're not going to click Oblivion Wing here, I don't think. They click... Uh, they just click Dark Pulse, that's fine. Uh, I'll T-Wave. Actually, no. I'll Default Volt Switch. Uh, they just Dark Pulse go for the KO. Um, now, 
does a Torrenty doesn't die to a Dark Pulse. I don't think it should, at least. Um, and then once that goes down, they just go t uh, Thundy. We miss our Hurricane, which is slightly unfortunate. Um, but we just got a U-turn into Mewtwo here. Uh, and then we go Zacian, and we click Play Rough, right? And if we hit the Play Rough, then we do solidly. I think we win. Actually, Behemoth Blade should kill from this range, right? Um. Yeah. Behemoth Blade gets the knockout. This is Veltal. Um. It comes in and it clicks Dark Pulse, right? And. Um. Okay. They click Dark Pulse. That does way too much. Oh shit. Um. I just click Hurricane, but no. We die. I think that's a loss. Um, yeah, it is. Unfortunately, we do pick up our first loss of this season, man. I just somewhat underestimated that, Yveltal. Um, damn. That was, like, a massive... Yveltal is obviously a massive pain. I did not expect Scarf. I think I choked when I tried to sub up in front of it, because I just expected, like, Scarf Victini or Scarf Mammal. Um... I did not think Scarf Veltal was the bring at all. I thought you would run one of those two Scarfed, but it's whatever. Uh, hopefully we can bounce back next week. And yeah, until next time, Jesse504, out. Peace.